All right, gang, it is Oracle, and we got another movie review here, and this is on Dracula Untold. This came out uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, it's basically the origin story of Dracula, how he became to be. It is a period piece, and uh, I'm not really too familiar with any of the actors, except for one actor. Um, not really sure of his name, but he was the young Howard Stark in Captain America the first Avenger. Uh, I mean, this takes place in medieval times. Like I said, it's a period piece. Uh, the story buildup is really good. I really enjoyed the film. Uh, you get to see uh, how Dracula becomes the vampire. Uh, he goes by, uh, before he becomes Dracula, he goes by, uh, I think it's Vladis the Empalmer. If I uh, may have gotten the first part of the name right, but I know it's something Vladis the Empalmer. Uh, the uh, choreography, the CGI, stuff like that is really, really great. I love the whole scene once he becomes uh, the vampire. Uh, him basically transforming uh, in with the bats and just flying around and taking, you know, down. I mean, the armies and stuff like that. I thought that was pretty, you know, badass, if you ask me. Uh, I was gonna originally gonna go see it in theater uh, back when it came out. I uh, luckily lucked out on it. I was gonna go with a group of friends, and uh, my one uh, friend said it really wasn't that great. I missed out on it. So I thought they meant uh, they. I thought they meant uh, se uh, s was it Friday, I believe. This, been, this is like a long time ago, but. They went on a Friday night, and I, of course, I had to work, or Friday during the daytime or something, and I mentioned to them uh, on a Saturday, and I think they, for, they actually forgot, um, so they told me it really wasn't that great, but I enjoyed the film. Uh, it's, it's definitely a watch. I actually, I don't own the film at all, not yet. Uh, it's definitely on my list to possibly get in the near future, but I had just watched it for the very first time since it's been out of theater uh, on Netflix here. Uh, decided to put it in, watch it, uh, started watching it. And, you know, the second time around, it takes a lot, it, it takes a while with some, some films, you know, to really get into the mood and the swing of things. But I really enjoyed it. I, I think the acting was great. Uh, the main actor who played uh, Dracula was awesome. I thought he was just uh, top notch. I mean, you, you have, you know, the history of people that have played Dracula going back to, you know, 1931, Bela Lugosi started it all off. We had, uh, I forgot the guy's name from Dracula 2000, thought he was pretty awesome as uh, Dracula also. Then we had Frank Langella. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on and on and on. But, uh, yeah, Dracula Untold, the origin story of Dracula. If you haven't seen it, definitely try it out because uh, if you're looking for it being like a horror film, it's in between a horror film and a, uh, I don't know what they call it, maybe a, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's necessarily full on horror, but it's, I mean, you'll know what I mean once you see it. Let's just put it that way. So uh, yeah. Definitely, Dracula Untold, love the film. Uh, definitely gonna be getting this film in the near future and uh, was a real joy to watch. So, you guys need to check it out.